Hi everyone, it's Mackenzie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a relatively large Swift haul to share. Um, I got really lucky last week as far as my sourcing goes. I was able to find all of these items. This is 40 items um, at just two stores. So that was really, really great. I love when that happens. Um, that meant that I spent less time driving around and more time shopping, finding stuff. Um, so that was really, really good. I'm really happy with everything that I picked up. The first store will be the Family Thrift Center Outlet. I mentioned, I've mentioned this store a couple times in past videos. Um, I like to shop there on Thursdays because that is a day of the week that they um, put out their new merchandise and everything in the store is $2. I apologize if the lighting is kind of weird, if there's some shadows I'm filming at a different time of day. Um, so first off, Family Thrift Center Outlet and then the next store is the is Goodwill, regularly priced Goodwill store. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and just jump right in. I will start off with the Family Thrift Center outlet and I will mention when I switch to Goodwill. So first off, I have this pair of shoes. I was so incredibly excited to find these. They are Old Gringo. You might be able to see it better there. And this brand has been on my list to find for a really long time. Um, it's just a very expensive, like, Western wear um, shoe brand. I believe they make shoes. They might make, they might make belts and bags and things like that as well. Um, they are in great shape. Here's the bottom sole. And they're just this, like, um, manufactured, distressed leather, uh, sorry, leopard um, suede mule. They are so cool. They're size 8, made in Mexico, very high quality, and they're great for fall time, winter time. So moving on into clothing from the Family Thrift Center outlet. First off, we have this Free People top. It has some sun-washed vibes, and then the bottom hem. It's a high-low hem, and then it has all of this really pretty crochet all along the front and back really cute. This is a size small. Next we have an anthropology piece. This is Lily's Closet size extra large and this is a striped tunic top. It has the roll tab sleeve so you could either roll them uh, or wear them up or down and then like secure them with the button tabs. This kind of like off center pocket which kind of drives me a little bit crazy but it is a cute kind of quirky detail there and then my favorite part is the lace in back I think that's so pretty so feminine and it's in excellent condition it also has pockets which I love next up we have American Eagle I don't always grab this brand this is the newer tag though it looks just a little bit different from um, their older tag something about the font I don't really know how to describe it um, but this is from 2019 and I just thought it was really pretty again feminine floral flattering um, it has kind of like a crochet floral detail um, in between the ruffles if you can see that and I just really like the silhouette of this um, so I wanted to grab that it's a size small Okay, next up, this brand is Frank and Eileen, and this brand retails for a lot. So this um, basic button-down shirt retailed for probably close to either $200, $250, somewhere around there. Um, but it's this blue plaid, I guess that's gingham, um, button-down. It's a size extra, extra small, so it is very small, um, but I think this should still do really well. It is, like I mentioned, a very high-end brand um, so be on the lookout for this brand okay this is one state and I've never picked up this brand before it's a size medium I think this is sold at like Nordstrom and Nordstrom Rack but I just thought this was so cute and obviously it's um, right in season it's this chunky sweater and then it has the eyelash um, fringe I think that's what that's called eyelash fringe and it kind of has this gradient effect with the gray to black um, so I really like that anthropology this is Pilcrow and the letterpress just a little mini skirt 
Um, I liked the, it's kind of a railroad stripe and then it has the contrast stripe and colored pockets there at the hips. So I thought that was a really cute, quirky detail. Um, here is the tag. This sub-brand Pilcro does pretty well for me from Anthropology. It's a size 4. This is in great shape as well. It zips down and back. Okay, next up we have an Ann Taylor Loft jacket. And again, I don't always pick up this brand, um, but I thought this was a really nice basic essential fall piece. Um, it's that army green color which is always in style and I like the peplum hem. It's an excellent shape so I think you know this will be just a nice piece to bundle with in my closet. This is a size small. This is Mark by Mark Jacobs. Again size small and this is a really nice dress. It's like kind of like a ponte knit. It's definitely like a higher um, quality feeling fabric and it's like this double breasted look um, dress. This would be you know great for the office or for like a dinner party. It's like that menswear vibe. I think it's really really cool. I did try this on and it is very figure flattering. Um, so yeah it does have a little bit of wool in it and um, rayon spandex so it's like that soft stretchy material um, and a little bit of wool will keep you warm free people this is just a basic little baby doll top i believe this is a linen cotton blend so it's very breezy that boho vibe size small great shape again with the high low hemline Kind of tiered ruffles and back there, really cute. I like wearing tops like that with like distressed boyfriend jeans. Um, so yeah, then we have H and M. I've mentioned this in my past videos. I like to pick up the oversized chunky sweaters from H and M that have wool or alpaca in them, um, and this one actually has both. Um, it's 25% wool and 10% alpaca, so those are a little bit higher quality fabrics. People really like them, um, and these are usually $20 to $30 sales, um, and they usually sell pretty quick, so I will always grab them, especially for $2. This is a size extra large from H&M. It's super soft. I also like this kind of like, it's, it's almost like a slight balloon sleeve there so I like that detail. Okay next up we have James Purse or James Percy. This is a size 4. I believe that's either a large or an extra large which is great. Um, I really like picking up dresses from this brand. The dresses definitely do the best for me. Dresses and jackets. Um, this is kind of like a heathered maroon color. Um, and yeah, these, again, these have a retail price of, this dress was probably around $225, um, definitely on the higher end of like maybe 180, 180 to like 220 is my guess. Um, they retail very, very high, so um, yeah, I definitely wanted to grab these. People, this is a brand that people search for, they're basics. A lot of people just really, really like this brand and like to stock up on essential pieces on Poshmark. We have a Free People New Romantics uh, brand tag. And this line from Free People seems to do pretty well for me. I've actually sold this exact top before. It's called the South of the Equator blouse. It's washing me out. And it's just really pretty. It has this embroidery detail and then um, some tassels here, kind of the cinched sleeves and some lacy details throughout, so just a lot going on. Very boho, very detailed, um, so I'm excited to get this listed. This is a size extra small. We have a Sparrow from Anthropology, size large. Just kind of a basic green cardigan, 
This one looked like it did pretty well. I have researched it. I need to um, depill it just a little bit, but overall it's in pretty good shape. It has kind of this cable knit detail stripe down the back and the waist belt is still attached, which is always exciting. Another piece from Ann Taylor Loft, and I grabbed this one because of the embroidery on the sleeves. I thought it was so pretty. The sleeves also have a little bit of a flare at the wrist, which is so cute and feminine. Um, this is a size medium. So again, great for the fall time. I was excited about this. So this is Wild Fox, and size small. It's just a really soft, it's their um, baggy beach jumper, I believe is what they're called. And it's this mint green color, and then it has the angel wings um, print in back. And these look like they do pretty well. This might go for $30 to $50, I would say. I still need to do a little bit of research. Saturday Sunday from Anthropology. This sub brand again is one that does pretty well for me. It's more of like a loungewear um, line from them, but people seem to really like their basics and their cozy pieces. So this is a draped moto jacket, and I like the contrast um, colors and textures. Just a very casual piece to throw on, size extra small. Again. The seasonality is perfect with this piece. It has pockets at the hips. Okay, so I grabbed this piece purely based on style. I thought it was so cute. It's like a kind of like a denim color. And then it has these pom poms around the V neck and at the sleeves, which the sleeves are kind of flared. So I really thought this was cute. Um, and it's a size extra large, so um, I think this should do pretty well. Okay, so last piece from the Family Thrift Center Outlet is a Free People Beach um, cowl neck. I have sold this exact style top several times before in many different colors, like a tan, a purple, a green, maybe even a gray. And now I have this really cool orange rust color. Um, again, this is perfect for fall time to go like pick out a pumpkin. Is that that's probably past though? Um, I think that's like an October thing. But this is still so cute. It's one size. Um, again, just very slouchy. It has a contrast colored material in back. Okay, so that's it for the Family Thrift Center outlet finds. Now we will move on into what I found at Goodwill. So, as always, I'm going to start off with shoes. First off, I have this pair of Fly London booties, and they're kind of like a slouch. I'm sorry if you can hear my dog in the background. He's going kind of crazy, I think. I'm not sure what's going on. Um, but yeah, they're just kind of a ruched booty, um, and they have a, a wedge, and they do Velcro on the side. Um, and they are a size 8. And Fly London is a brand that retails for a lot. These look like they'll go for maybe 50 to 70. I did just a little bit of research. They're in great shape. Okay, so this brand I had never heard of, but they looked really well made. And so I just kind of picked them up and did a little bit of research um, at Goodwill. And it looks like they retail for around $300, maybe $350. They are a comfort shoe, and they're in excellent shape. They look like they've been worn maybe once or twice, if that, size 41. Um, and the Comps on Poshmark were pretty good. It looks like they might sell for around $75. So I was really excited to um, learn more about this brand. Um, it's called Arch, and they're just a really pretty, like very soft suede, Flat with a little bit, I think that's like a one inch heel and back. Um, so that was exciting. And last pair of shoes are these Seychelles. I believe that's how you pronounce that. You can see that in there. Um, metallic booty. And they have this woven detail on the side. So cute, kind of that distressed look. Um, and they do zip down, which is great. A little bit of a heel, 
Um, and again, these are in excellent shape. They're a size seven and they are um, real leather. So again, great find. Okay, moving on into clothing. So we're starting off with an exciting piece. This is probably my favorite find. It is Johnny Was. I love finding Johnny Was. How pretty is this piece? It's all embroidered in front, so pretty. Um, it does also have embroidery at the sleeves and on the pockets here in front and on the back. Just beautiful, beautiful piece. This is probably around 200, maybe $250 retail. It's a size small and it's in excellent condition. It's always a really good day when you find Johnny Was. Okay, next up, this is Mage. I believe that's how you say that. It's a size one, just a really cute tropical printed mini dress. It has the flare sleeves. Again, just really feminine and flattering. Um, so I was excited to grab this. It does zip down and back. So I grabbed this piece on based on style. I thought it was so precious. It's knitted by hand. Um, the brand tag, I don't know if you can, if you'll be able to see that. What does it say? Cape Isle Knitters. Um, so I don't know if that's like a brand or what, but how cute is this? And you guys, if you watch my channel, you know that I love mustard yellow. It has these little pom-poms all over and then like a cable knit running throughout. So I definitely had to grab this. And I believe this was, their sale color for the week was orange. I believe this was 25% off as well. So this was a great pickup. Some Anthropology. I've never found this sub-brand before. It's Varun Ball. Um, I believe that's how you pronounce that. Size small, just a really pretty kind of shirt dress with a floral print. Um, it does have pockets and just very feminine. So this is a great piece that you could dress up or down. You'd wear it with flats or heels, um, maybe to brunch or even to the office. So just a great versatile piece. Okay, so this is a brand that I have been wanting to find for a while. Um, Savannah over at Street Savvy has talked about it in her haul videos and I finally found one. It's called Alpen Rock and Here's another close up. And um, it looks like their long sleeve thermals do the best, but this still looks like it will do pretty well. Just go ahead and research it on Poshmark. You'll be kind of amazed. A lot of their tops sell for like 70, 60, 70 dollars. This one has a lot of nice embroidery, some floral um, down the side, and then kind of their crest, logo crest there, the patch here and then some more floral embroidery on back. So this is a really cool piece. It's a size one. I'll have to look that up to see what it converts to, um, but this is definitely a brand that you guys should be on the lookout for. Kate Spade, how cute is this find? So it's like a pajama dress or a nightgown. Um, I am, yeah, it's a size large and I, I just think anything like cat printed is the cutest thing ever. I just sold a mod cloth skirt covered is like cat printed for $40. So um, people love their cats. They love novelty prints and they are generally a good pickup. Um, so I was excited about this. It has a little pocket in front. Next up we have Field Flower from Anthropology, size small. I've actually sold this exact sweater before in cream. Um, it's just that kind of relaxed vibe with the dolman sleeve and the cowl neck, kind of that oversized bodice. Um, this definitely could fit probably up to a large. Um, and it is a good fabric. I believe this is like a wool blend. Yes, it's a wool blend, so this is great for the fall time. Um, something that's not great for the fall time. We have a Tory Burch dress. This is size 8. Uh, this dress looks like it does really well on Poshmark. Maybe just in the springtime I might have to wait a little bit, but that's fine. It's really pretty. It has this pleating um, at the bottom and then the accentuated waist with like this ribbon here. 
it does zip down on the side. The Tory Burch logo is kind of hidden in the fabric, which I thought was kind of neat. I've noticed that anything um, Tory Burch that has the logo ends up pretty doing pretty well. Um, so yeah, I um, was excited about finding this. Next up we have Free People Beach. That will show. Um, this is a size medium. And this is just a maxi dress. I'm not going to be able to show it, um, but it does go to the floor. It has high side slits um, that go to like mid thigh, I would say. It also has pockets, elastic at the waist, um, and then it does have a cutout in back. So this is just a great kind of like, you know, running errands dress to throw on. It would be a great beach cover up. Um, so yeah, this is a good find. Next up we have Madewell, size extra small. I just had to get this top. I thought it was the cutest thing ever. I don't like to pick up just kind of basic Madewell tops anymore for full price. This was um, $6. That's what my Goodwill charges for shirts. But I really wanted to get this. I just thought the style was really cute. Um, I'll, you know, at least double my money. So that's fine with me. Um, and this was from 2018, so I will pick up the newer Madewell stuff, and it's in excellent condition, so I liked that. Another exciting find, we have uh, Johnny Was again. This is Petite Extra Small. How pretty. Um, I found this one first before the blue one, and I was just like, man, this is a good day at the thrift. All this embroidery along the sleeves, and then at the chest. Um, and then down here at the sides. So just beautiful piece. His tops are honestly like works of art. Um, this is like a really nice hot pink color. Again, like flawless condition. We have Eileen Fisher, size extra small, 100% linen, just casual slouchy pants to throw on. They're kind of like a dark blue, almost black color, and they have the elastic waist, just a great, um, you know, pant to wear around the house or running errands. So this is La Tee by Legeance, I believe I'm pronouncing that correct. Again, it's 100% linen. It's a midi dress. I've never picked up this brand before. This actually has also been on my Be On The Lookout For list. Um, it has the cold shoulder. Just that slouchy vibe. Again, great for running errands. Um, so I really like this. Linen has been huge. Um, it was huge all summer long. So I definitely will continue to pick it up even in the colder weather months. It seems to still be selling. Um, so that's just a side note. We have some more Madewell, size extra small. I actually just sold this shirt the other day, I sh or I shipped it the other day. Um, it was this exact same style, but it did not have, so this one has 100% um, leather trim around the collar, which is really nice, and this style does pretty well. Um, I think people like this particular top as like a nice basic. This would be great to dress up or down. It has one pleat in back, and then the keyhole closure. Um, we have Black Halo, which I've never found. I was super excited to find. Um, this upper part has ruffles. It is silk, I believe. The straps are adjustable, and the belt was still with it, so that was really nice. It's a really pretty pencil dress. Um, so yeah, this is a size large, great shape. This is another brand to be on the lookout for. I believe the Jackie O dress is the dress that does the best. Um, Meghan Markle wore it and I believe a few other celebrities. So this is not their most popular style, but I think it should do um, pretty well still. Next up we have Tabitha from Anthropology. This is like a fair aisle print and then the contrast striped sleeves. So cute, very quirky. I have found that um, the quirkier the piece from Anthropology, the better it does. 
This was also on sale, so I definitely wanted to grab it. And it is Lamb's Wool Angora and Cashmere Blend. So um, with all those things considered, I think it was a good pickup. We have a basic pair of Lululemon Crops. Um, I pick up pretty much any Lululemon pant that is in excellent shape and does not have pilling, which these do not have any pilling. Um, they do have this kind of print up here at the waistband and they have a little slit in back at the bottom of the leg. Here's the logo and these are a size six. Okay, last piece in our haul. This is a Kate Spade, the tag is falling off there, a Kate Spade dress, size small, really pretty. I love the print on this. This is something, I forget the style name, it's something about, it's like island vibes or something, but I thought it was so cute. It's a midi dress. It ties in back. It's very flattering um, with this kind of ruched look at the waist. Um, so this was definitely a nice find. So that's it for my thrift haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video.